Hello, class. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm good. Yes, that's I'm good. good. But I be, I very tired. Why, Sobeda? For the closing month in my heart. Oh yes. Yes, you're 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 in, in accounting. Yes, teacher. My boss tell me. Yeah. Me dijo que le enviaba saludos también. Who, Mr. Wilson Sete? Yes. Okay, good. Hoy, hoy le comenté que usted era mi cliente. Okay, good. Say hi to him for me, please. Okay. All right, good. All right. How, what about you, Karen? How are you? So good, teacher. Hi. Hello. Um, I got in shopping. You went shopping? Yes. Where? Every day. <laughs> no, but where? Oh, in San Salvador. Casi todo. You, you come to San Salvador every day? Yes. Uh, for what? Business? Um, pleasure? And... No. Uh, shoes? Uh, ¿Cómo se dice ropa? Clothes? <laughs> Clothes. And... ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Um, sí, más que todo, solo eso. Yo me tardo mucho escogiendo. Okay, but you buy, you, you. Okay, um, but you come, you, you buy the clothes for you or to sell or. Oh, no. Uh, for my, my son. For your son, okay, okay, good. Yes. Yes. Okay, no problem. Do you come alone or do you come with your son? Uh, no, 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 eh, porque solo se lo compré. Excuse me? Pasa por ahí? Porque pasa por ahí, le digo. Ah, pero usted me dice que todos los días viene. Eh, sí, lo que pasa es que, como le explico, él tiene un evento en el colegio, entonces necesitaba comprar algunas sandalias para el evento que van a tener del colegio. Y pues buscando, buscando, no solo compré las sandalias, sino que también las le compré uh, varias cosas así como ropa. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. No problem. Okay, now I understand. Let me check one thing. Okay. All right. Hello, Maritza. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. Good. Thank you. It's hot today. Yes. <laughs> today, um, today I went to take pictures, pho photographs. Mm, no, I don't like. Maritza, listen, today I went to take photographs. Ah, okay, excuse me. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. 
No, today I want to take photographs. I, I love taking photographs. It's my favorite hobby. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, where is the rest of the people? This is it, or oh, that's all. Okay, so let's continue from, hold on, let me open the, um, let me open the, the platform. Okay, uh, da, 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 let me see, come on, open, open platform. So remember yesterday we were doing um, should. Remember it was an advice? Yes. Okay. Before we continue doing this, let me see something, let me see something. Do you see my chat right now? Yes, it. Okay, we have can. Do you know what is can? Puede. No. Can, okay. Okay, good. Can is, well, can is two things. It's like poder and permission. For example, can I go to the bathroom? Okay, so can es poder, right? You can or you can't. Jenny, can you drive? No, teacher. You can't drive? All right. No. So, Beida, can you dance? Mm, I not can, but I try. Okay, it's not, I am, I'm not can, it's I can or I can't. I can't. Okay, so I can or I can't. I can't. All right, good. Okay. Karen Sandoval, can you dance? Yes, teacher. I love, <laughs> I love dance. <laughs> Can you dance? Como es que se llama reggaeton? No. I can. Ah, bachata. Oh, yeah. Salsa. De todo un poco. Oh, very good. All right. What about reggaeton? Yes? Um, eso no mucho. <laughs> very good. No, but can you? No, that's not, not my question. That do you like it? Can you? I know. I know. I know can reggaeton. I can't. Is I can I or I can't? I can reggaeton. I can't dance reggaeton. I can't dance reggaeton. No, okay. okay, very good. But bachata, salsa, and everything, yes. Yes. All right. Maritza, can you swim? Yes. Uh, I can. Very good. Jenny. Okay, so everybody, we did it. Everybody said yes, I can or no, I can't, correct? Now let's ask permission. Jenny. Yeah. Can you smoke in your work, in your job? I can't. So no, I can't. No, I can't. All right, okay, good. Okay. Marit, uh, Maritza Ortiz. 
Okay. Can you, Maritza? Are you married? You're not married. Uh, nobody's married in this class except Jenny. Maritza, you are single, correct? Yes, I'm single. Who do you live with? Um, I live uh, with my daughter. With your, okay, only you and your daughter. Yes. How old is your daughter? My daughter is um, 18 years old. 18, okay. 18. Can she have a boyfriend? Um, I don't know. No, listen to my question. Can I, she, porque puede que lo tenga. Can she have a girlfriend? Uh, que yo sepa. Um, please Maritza listen to my question I am not asking okay. listen I'm not saying does she have a boyfriend mm -hmm. we're asking him permission like can she have a boyfriend uh, no no she's not no she can't not she's hard okay okay class miren hay dos formas es I can I can't, she can, she can't, he can, he can't. No, no, no se puede decir, I know don't, ¿cómo es? I know don't can, I know do not, not can. no, it's simple. I can, I can't, he can, she can't. Todos. <laughs> okay. So, Maritza, ¿qué le pregunté? Eh, entendí que si mi hija tenía... No, ajá, si por eso. Tenía... Pero tres veces le hice la pregunta, ¿qué es can? Eh, can can es este, poder. Eh... Ok, ok, good. Oiga esto, can es poder. Uh -huh. Pero usted dice que yo le pregunté si su hija tiene novio. Uh -huh. Algo así entendí. No, yo le pregunté si ella puede tener novio. Ok. O sea, sí. listen, really, listening is very important. Porque es lo que yo le dije, puede que tenga, puede que no, pero para usted, can she have a boyfriend? Um, no. No, she Cannot. can't. No, she can't. No, okay. she can't. Okay, very good, good. Así es, no, she can't. Okay. Puede que no, pero igual, ustedes creo que no le daban permiso de tener novio y tenía. <laughs> <laughs> Todos. Uh, pero, uh, remember, pero ahorita no estamos preguntando si tienen o no. El, uh -huh. Today is can. Right. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Si yo le pregunto, by, por ejemplo, a Jenny le pregunté, ¿puede usted fumar en su trabajo? Y ella dijo, no, no puedo. Pero no, no me, no me respondió ella, no, yo no fumo. Porque, no, my, esa no era my, my question. Es, do you smoke? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Pero, me, can you smoke in, a, in no, no, you can't. Okay. All right, uh, let me see. Sobeida. Tell me. Sobeida, in, in the movies, in, in, in Cinemark, can you take food inside? Yes, we can. You, you can take food to watch the movie? Yes, the employees. Oh, okay, good. The employees. What about the clients? No, the clients can't. We can't. No, okay, good. So the clients can't. Uh, the clients can't. Do you Teacher, have? Yes. The difference in the client of a customer. Oh, okay, good. Is a similar. It, customer is one time only. Customer, One. customer is potential. Okay. Client is frequent. Okay. Thank you. A regular person. Okay. So like I have a business and people are in my business looking, they are customers. Okay. They están interesados, no? customers. Mm -hmm. Si me compran ya son clientes. Y si regresan son clientes. The clients, okay. clients. Clients. Okay. Okay. Good. Good question. So, um, can clients?
take food in, in, in the movies? No. No, the client can't. Can't. Do you have cameras inside the movies? Like, hey, hey, hey. En la aula cinco están comiendo choris. Mm -hmm. No? Yes, but I, we don't see the food. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Hello, <laughs> Arely. <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> Hello, Arely. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. All right. Arely. Arely, you are married. I'm sorry? Yes, I, I'm married. Okay. I am married. Can your husband go out every Saturday night and party? Yes, he can. If he wants to. Okay, yeah. good. Very good. You see, Arely le pregunté si él puede salir los sábados a la noche. No le pregunté si sale. So thank you, Arely. That was a very good question. A very good answer. Good listening. Good listening. So can your can your husband? Yeah, if he wants to, yes, he can. Very hey, you're you're a good wife. Thank you. <laughs> I I don't go out. Oops. Yeah. I no, but I don't like it. I I don't like to go out. Okay. Really, I, my wife tells me and go because Maybe in this moment, I have no friends because all my friends call me, hey, come, no, 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 thank you, no, thank you. So now nobody calls me. <laughs> all right, okay, so what is can? Two things, remember, permission and ability. Y si se dieron cuenta, cuando estamos en habilidad, es un verbo. Karen can dance salsa. Jenny can't drive. Drive is a verb. It's an action. It's an ability. So, Beida, can you drive? Yes, teacher. I can. Okay. So, can you, can you cook? Yes, I can. Okay, good. So, do you understand right now, Ken, the difference, the two things? Ability. Ability and permission. Do you know what is the difference between speak and talk? No, teacher. Okay, what is speak? Hablar. Hablar, but is, I think that is a, an ability, no? No. Okay, yeah. Hey, look, look at my coffee. Look at my little coffee. It's like almost the size of my face. Oh, yeah. This is my. Oh, man. Hey, I like your mug. Yes, speak is, bueno, la diferencia de talk and speak, los dos son hablar, pero si algún día se ponen técnico, speak is ability. Si oyen, siempre les preguntan, can you speak English? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Nunca les van a preguntar, can you talk English? Siempre speak English because it's an ability. Okay. Okay. So do you have questions with can and can't? No questions? Okay. Karen. Okay. Karen Sandoval, are you there? Yes. All right, um, Karen, you are single, correct? Yes. Okay, uh, but you have three children, correct? No, uh, two sons. Oh, you have two sons, okay. Yes. 
How old are your sons? Um, the first uh, fifteen, fifteen, no, fifteen years old. Uh, the second um, nine, nine years old. Okay, 15 and nine. Okay, very good. Can they dance? No. Um, I don't know. Like... <laughs> okay, no, they can't. No, they can't. Okay, very good. Okay, class, now that's the, the can and can't. Now we're going to do could. Could and couldn't. Do you know what is could? A could uh, is um, el pasado de can't. Okay, give me give me an example. Lo vamos a hacer más fácil. Could también es permiso, como can. Yes. Can I go to the bathroom? Could I go to the bathroom? No problem. The same. Now, could is the past of can. Listen, please, please listen. Past. Adelie, you are married, correct? Yes, I am. Present time. Adelie, remember when you were 15? Yes. Could you have a boyfriend when you were 15? No, I couldn't. Okay, very good. Listen to my question. I did not ask, did you have a boyfriend? Maybe she did. But my question is, could you? Could you have a boyfriend when you were 15? No, I couldn't. Correct? Yes. No podía tener. No permission from your mother and father. Correct? Yes. Okay, good. So, Beida. Monday. So, Beida, do you know that maybe... 20 years ago, you could smoke inside the movies? No, I couldn't. Sí, okay, good. No sabía eso. No. Yeah, long, long time ago, you could smoke inside the movies. Really? Yeah. Really? You could smoke in Pollo Campero. You could smoke in Mr. Donut. In the specific space? No, anywhere. In really? the bus, you could smoke in the bus. Ah, in the bus. I I saw in different occasions. Mm -hmm. But in present time, you can't. Okay. Which is good, yes. Now, yes, now you can't smoke in public places, but before you could. Oh. Ahí está un perfecto ejemplo de un permiso antes y hoy. In this moment, in present time, you can't smoke in the movies. You can't. Okay. But... 
um, before, maybe like 15, 20 years ago, you could. Very interesting. Yes. You Okay, listen to this. 20 years ago, you could smoke in a gas station. Really? Imagine how stupid we were, porque yo estaba ahí. Uh, yes, um, like, do you know la, Los Proceres? No, no, Boulevard de los Héroes, Boulevard de los Héroes, the gas stations. Oh, la, uno, Puma, no sé, Texaco. Camino de los no, uh -huh. en Boulevard de los Héroes. There's a gas station. Las gasolineras. Ajá, uh -huh. donde salen los buses para las excursiones. Yes. Antes los sábados de noche se topaban todas, todas de, cerveza, de gente que iba a tomar y fumar ahí. Can you imagine smoking in a gas station? And drunk alcohol? It's very crazy. Yes. It was very stupid. <laughs> Even chistoso porque yo lo hacía. But now, now I think, wow. <laughs> yes. O sea, now when I, when I talk with my friends, I say, wow, that was very stupid. <laughs> Qué tonto era eso antes. All right. Okay, so that's the difference between could. Ahora, también can es una habilidad. También could es una habilidad que podían, algo que podían hacer antes y hoy ya no pueden. Example, I remember when I was a little kid, I could climb a tree. Now I can't. When I was a child, mm -hmm. I could watch TV only, uh, only day. Or, all day. Uh, all day. But uh, now I, I can't. Now you can't, okay. Yes, it happens, now you can't. Yes. Me too, like when I am on vacation, I say, oh man. Tomorrow, I'm going to watch 10 movies. And I put the movie on. Ugh, and I go to sleep very quick. Yo me dormí. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's talking? Oh. Okay. So we understand the difference between can and could, right? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, next, should, ya lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Hello, ya hicimos should, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, next, we're going to do must. What is must? It's like an obligation. Mm-hmm. You must do something. I don't know. Okay, Ben Kitty puts a must and have to, correct? All right. Okay, you must and you have to. Must and have to. Do you know what is the difference? No, did you? Okay. I don't know. The two are obligations. Okay. I must work and I have to work. Okay. Um, I must be in my job at five in the morning or I have to be in my job at five in the morning. The two are correct. So what is the difference? 
The difference es que must tiene tono legal y autoritario. Ejemplo. Votar. Vote. You have to vote or you must vote. Yeah, I mean, incluso hasta puede ser you should vote. <laughs> Because really it's not an obligation. Pay taxes. Pay, pay taxes. You have to or you must pay taxes. You must. You must. Yes. That's not negotiable. You must pay taxes. Um, drive, uh, buy a house. Must buy a house or you have to buy a house? I have to buy a car, to buy a house. Good. Or I should, <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's not an obligation, but uh, okay. Okay. Jenny y Arely, obedecer a su esposo. You must obey or you have to obey. I must. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, oh, no. O sea, <laughs> no, no. I have to. No, you don't have to. Pensé que me iba a decir, he must. No. no. I, I don't. I don't. No, okay, but let, let me change. Jenny and Arely, your children must obey you or they have to obey you? They have. They must. They must. It's not an option. <laughs> yeah, there's not an option. O lo haces, o lo haces. Yes. Okay, so must es algo legal. Por ejemplo, eso me gustó, pagar impuestos. We must pay tax. O sea, nadie puede ir a decirle a la contadora o contador. Mire, no cree que puedo evadirlo el AFP y el seguro y el... ¿Qué más, Sobina? El IVA, la renta. El IVA y todo eso. No, no lo quiero pagar. Mejor páguemelo directo. Ah, sí, cómo no. You can't. You can't. You must. You must pay taxes. Ok, también es autoritario. ¿Quién le puede decir a ustedes, you must? Una autoridad. Y no nos seamos tan dramáticos. Una autoridad puede ser the police, the doctor. My boss. Your boss, your father, your mother, your teacher. Um, your older brother, sister. It's an authority. Yes, for example, imagine Sobeida, your boss tells you, Sobeida, uh, everybody to, tomorrow, you must come in in pink because it's cancer day. Okay. Olvidemos lo legal, porque acuérdense lo que le dije, must es o legal o autoridad. Mm -hmm. Y en este caso, el jefe dijo que we must go in pink tomorrow. Ahora no lo va a echar si no van, pero. <laughs> But you know, it's your boss. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. The doctor tells you, okay, um, you must take two pills in the morning and one at night. When okay. you go when when you go to super selectos, I've seen signs you must use a mask. It is obligatorio. Mm. Yes. Yes. All right. Solo me queda la duda. Yes. Must no es un verbo como tal. O es como tú tienes la obligación. Bueno, yeah, have, 
Ajá, no es verbo, es un... Es, eh, Por ejemplo, en lo que nos decía de llevar la mascarilla, la oración se traduciría, tienes la obligación de llevar la mascarilla. De usarla. Uh -huh. Ajá. Sí, o sea, must y have to es como, vaya, si alguien le pregunta a ustedes, o Sobeida, si le pregunta a su sobrino, tía, ¿qué es la diferencia de yo debo ir y yo tengo que ir mañana? Esa diferencia me agarra en curva, Ticho. Pero, <risa> yeah. pero debo pero, ir es una obligación. Tengo que ir también. Y créanme que así como uno se pone a pensar en español, y sí, ¿qué es la diferencia entonces? Lo mismo dicen en inglés. Yeah, what is the difference? I have to, I must. Es lo mismo. No. When you analyze, when you analyze. Ah, o sea que yo debo de, debo viene de deber. Es obligación o legal o por autoridad. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si a un hombre le, le tocó, le tocó pagar, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se llaman los padres que le pagan a los hijos comida y manutención? Manutención. La abogada le va a decir, usted debe pagar tanto mensual. No debería, no tiene que, no, debe de. Y la estructura de la oración quedaría sujeto, must y verbo. Yes. Más complemento. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok, now let me see. Jenny. En El Salvador, okay. en El Salvador, if you're an adult, you must have a Dewey or you have to have a Dewey. Must. You must have a Dewey. Must have a Dewey. Very, very good. Marita, to go to the United States, you must have a visa or you have to have a visa? Um, I must. Mm, I must um, to a visa. I must have a visa. I have a visa. No, repeat. I must have a visa. I must have a visa. Excellent. Arely, hi. Hi. Arely, um, to get married in church, you must be Christian or you have to be Christian? I have to be Christian. Good. También puede ser must, fíjese, porque es una ley interna, de, obviamente, de la religión. Okay. Yeah. Sobeida. Para ver una película R17. Así se, así es, ¿verdad? R17. R17. Así es. Future? No. La clasificación. Ajá. Es, bueno, mayores de 12 años. Y clasificación B, creo. Ok, ok. Sobeida, imagine, imagine. Karen's son goes to the movie and he is eight. And he goes to watch SpongeBob, Bob Esponja. Okay. Do you do you let children in the movies? Yes. Really? No alone? Yes. I won't, no. The children with your father or your mother? The children must come. Uh, the children must come. Yes. 
Ok. Uh, recuerden de que... Uh, ok, está lo legal de la ley y está como leyes también o reglas de un instituto o de su casa, de su trabajo, de su iglesia. Hay, 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 hay reglas. ¿Ya? Yes. Entonces, todas esas son must. ¿Cuál es una regla de su casa that you must do? Jenny. Uh, put the clothes um, in the basket. Okay, you must put the clothes. Repeat. Your, your. My clothes, or I don't know. Ah, hmm. my. My clothes. Okay, and does there you must put your okay, okay? The clothes must be put in the basket. Repeat. The clothes must put in the basket. Must be put. Must be ah be put on in the, the basket. basket. Okay, good. Marisa Ortiz, tell me one must that your daughter has to do. Okay, um, uh, she must return later at home. Okay. Ella debe de llegar tarde a la casa. Wow. <laughs> you are a cool mother. Early, perdón. Ah, early. Okay, good. Very good. She must... Return early. Repeat, please. Uh, she must return early when I um, out with your friends. When she is out with her friends. Okay. Okay, repeat, please. Okay. <laughs> um, Uh, mire, she... mire, recuerde una cosa, así de fácil. Estamos hablando de ella. Okay. Si usted mete you, ya está hablando de mí. So, okay. she must return home early. Repeat. Uh, she must return early at home. Okay, good. Yes, that's it. Cool, nice. Sobeida. Sobeida, you're a single woman. What does a man have to do or he must do to conquer your heart? He must. He must believe in good. In God. In God. And he must be work. Is he must be, okay, hablar? good. He must be responsible. Okay, very good. Ah. O sea, que si él no cree en Dios, forget it. Yes. Okay, good. I like that. Es la regla de su vida. Yes. If you want to be my boyfriend, you must believe in God. All right, good. Okay. Yo al contrario. <laughs> yeah. Imagine, imagine, I'm, I am married, but imagine I am single. So I say, okay, um, if you want to be my girlfriend, you must not like reggaeton. And you must, oh, yeah. Regla you, de oro, yes, and you must accept that I, I am not religious. And okay, 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 good. No. <laughs> Pero si me dice, oh, I, llévame a ver Bad Bunny. <laughs> Cortémosla. Bye. Bad Bunny, bye bye. No, yes. <laughs> okay, very good. So, so, Beida, y, disculpe, so, so le, le hice esa pregunta porque. Aquí casi todo no, no el mundo es soltero. Yes, no. Karen, Karen is single too. Yes, because... Karen, what are your what are your rules 
for a boyfriend. He must what? Sobeida, she said, to conquer, um, to conquer Sobeida, he must be responsible and he must be a Christian. Christian. What about you, Karen? Uh, he must, um, he must, uh, trabajador. He must, he must work hard. He must work hard. Yes. And, and responsable. He must be responsible. Yes. Jenny. Yeah. Jenny, you have one son, correct? No, I don't have. Oh, you don't have children. No, no. no. Arely, you have one son and one daughter, correct? I have two. Yes. One daughter and one son. How old is your son? 13 years old. Imagine when he has a girlfriend. I can't imagine that. Yes. I I'm not, pre I'm not prepared yet. Yes. Olvídese, ahí se va a olvidar totalmente de usted. <laughs> Don't say that. No, please. no, I'm joking. Okay, so for you, for you, what do you want? What type of girl do you want for your boy? She must be what? She must be, I don't know, she must be Christian. She must be a Christian. Yes, she must be a Christian and she must be smart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, I, I need grandchildren, smart grandchildren. Smart. Why are you you thinking I'm of grandchildren? Teacher. Yes, I'm a teacher. So and I I know that the importance for to combine two smart people to get smart kids. Oh, okay, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so I think that two things that are important. Christian and smart. All right, very good. Okay, so uh, Adeli, for Adeli, her her son's girlfriend, she must be a Christian and she must be smart. That's true. I love I love intelligent people, but not intelligent, interesting people. You know that you can drink coffee and talk about talk about books, movies, art, paintings. That that's nice. All right. So, do you understand the difference between? Y mira lo mismo. Si yo digo debo de y tengo que, no es que yo debo de, tengo que. Pero si algún día analizan inconscientemente a veces solo dicen debo de para ciertas cosas y para otras cosas usando dos. Creo que por eso viene la palabra deber, los deberes. Eh, o es mi deber hacer eso, es mi deber, o sea, es like my obligation. Impuesta por una autoridad, ya sea my mother, my boss my religion, my school, my work. Okay, do you have questions? No, teacher. Okay, so that, that is the difference. So can, could, have to, and must. All right. Okay, let's watch this video next. Knowledge check. Okay. Oh, miren. Escriban el mejor consejo. Advice. ¿Cuál de esos son advice? Can, could, should, or must. Should. And should. Okay, good. Should. Okay, read the following question. Write the best advice for
for each problem. Remember to use infinitive complement. You don't need to rewrite in brackets. What should I do for a sore throat? It's important. Okay, what should I, um, look, sore throat is this. <clears throat> throat is this. So, <clears throat> so what should I do for a sore, th sore throat? It's important. To take some vitamins. To take. To take. It's important to take some vitamin C, okay? Number two, what should I do for a fever? It's a good idea. Yes, Tarla. It's a good idea to drink lots of liquids. I think Karen yesterday was saying to it's important to drink li uh, liquids. Correct, Karen? Yeah. Remember yesterday that you said it's important to drink liquids. Number three. What should I do for a burn? Jenny, ¿qué es un burn? A burn. I don't know, teacher. Good. Okay. Noten que nadie me, di, me preguntó qué, qué significaba burn. ¿Saben qué es burn? Una quemada. Una quemada. Cuando alguien le dice que es un chef, dígale que le enseñen los brazos. They have many burns. Oh, you're a chef? Yeah, let me see your hands. Oh, yeah. Yes, you're a chef. So, what should I do for a burn? In El Salvador, you put tomatoes. You put savila. Savila. Put some ointment. Do you know what is ointment? Okay, supongo que sí, entonces. Okay, number four. What should I do for a toothache? Go. So, go. so it's important to see or to go to a dentist. Toothache, like, ah. Oh. What should I do for a cough? Cough is. <coughs> to take some medicine. It's a good idea to take some medicine. Let me see if we're all correct. Yes. Um, what should I do? Hold on, let me see. What should I do for a fever? I'm sorry, for um, allergies. To take medicine. You should take medicine. Please. Please repeat, Jenny. It's the same. What? Meaning, Mr. Se acuerdan que le dije el primer primer día. El problema del salvadoreño. Es, o sea, aprender el inglés tiene muchas cosas, pero también afecta a lo cultural. Y en nuestra cultura a nosotros no nos gusta hablar. Y todo nos gusta responder en una o dos palabras. Y si es posible, a veces ni hablamos. ¿Ya? ¿Sí? Y entiendo por qué si hablamos. ¿Se acuerdan que les di el ejemplo? Hey, ¿Qué tal el fin de semana? Tranquilo. 
Y, y ahí, ah, y vos, sal suave. Imagínense, es una gran conversación y dimos a entender mucho, porque como salvadoreños entendemos lo que esa persona quiso hacer. Al suave, ah, no hizo nada. Nada, nada interesante, tranquilo, quizás la pasó en su casa y no hizo nada. Pero en inglés, es bien diferente. How was your weekend? My house. Créanme que le van a decir, well, what happened? Oh my God, ¿qué pasó? Se te quemó, se te cayó. What happened? Eso, eso es una, es lo que les digo, es un aspecto cultural. Hoy, hoy muchos me han respondido solo con palabras. O me dicen, yes. Cuando, cuando les he corregido yo la, la respuesta, me dicen, ah, oh, ok, yes. No, repeat, complete. What should I take? For a headache. Tylenol, teacher. No. You should take Tylenol. Es lo que quiero que digan. Porque lo que no me importa el Tylenol. Yo lo que quiero oír es que armen esa, esa respuesta. You should take Tylenol. ¿Saben por qué? Porque después van a caer en lo que les digo que... Siempre me han dicho, ah, mira, soy profesor de inglés, sí. Fíjate que yo tengo un problema de que a mí me cuesta hablarlo. Yo te entiendo todo, todo te lo puedo entender, pero me cuesta hablarlo. Pero es por eso. Es por eso, porque desde que ustedes estaban en, no sé, bachillerato y que estudiaban inglés. Eh, el teacher le decía, good. Imagine le decía alguien, Jose, what should I take for my headache? Tylenol. Very good. Excellent, Jose. Pobrecito, Jose, eso lo dijo Tylenol. Ya, yeah, y la regó ese profesor le tenía que... ¿Creen que el profesor quería oír Tylenol o quería oír la oración del tema que están dando? Obviamente, el... Yes. Pero si José le hubiera enseñado a responder en forma completa, creo que lo estuviera mucho mejor hoy. O tuviera el mismo nivel de comprensión que su... Su fluidez. Yes. Lo que he notado hoy también es. Confundimos mucho la primera persona con tercera. Eh, necesitamos practicar eso. Y otra más que toda. Creo que solo Sobeida me hizo una pregunta hoy. De ahí nadie me ha hecho preguntas. Y yo sé en qué están fallando muchos, pero. Estoy esperando que me hagan la pregunta. Pero, come on, de verdad. Eh, let's, no es una... ¿Se acuerdan que les dije? No me den algo complicado, solo denme una respuesta básica, así como la estructura. Yes. ¿Se acuerdan lo que les dije ayer o el viernes, creo? ¿Qué van a hacer mañana? Es que no sé, depende, ¿por qué? Si vienen mis suegros, porque ellos son de Zulután, y si ellos me vienen a visitar, pueda de que vayamos a la playa. Pero si no vienen, quizás vamos a ir a visitar a mi familia. Y mi familia vive en Santa Ana. Y, no, man, no, no espero una respuesta así. Espero una respuesta bien simple, como, What are you going to do on the weekend? Oh, I am going to go eat dinner with my family. Y aunque quizás no es eso lo que vayan a hacer. Pero solo quiero que formen la pregunta. What, what are you going to do in vacation? Ah, se los prometo. Fíjense mañana, estoy en adelante. Ya que vienen vacaciones, se va a tomar mucho esta, esta pregunta. ¿Y qué onda que tienes para vacaciones? Nada. Hay una casa. Mucha gente. Así vamos, así le ponemos. Mucha gente, el COVID, no hay dinero. Ok, good. Pero en inglés no podemos decir eso. Hey, what are your plans for vacation? Nothing. My house. Oh, really? Your house what? Paint? Remodel? Fix? You know, like, no, my house. My house what? I am going to stay in my house. Ah, okay, good. I am going to watch movies all day. Okay. So, antes de irnos, me repito, Sobeida, 
Yeah, so, Beida, in, in San Jacinto, where should I buy pupusas? I should. Okay, oiga, so Beida, where should I, not you, where should I buy pupusas? Where should you should? Mm -hmm. Es que usted me estaba diciendo I should. Mm -hmm. Uh, you should las pupusas de comal. Sí, pero así se llama la pupusería. Así la conozco yo. ¿En, en San Jacinto? Sí, dicho. Ok. So you should buy pupusas en las pupusas de comal. Repeat. Ok. You should buy pupusas en Las pupusas de comal. Okay, very good. Thank you. Where is that? Is in the in front. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Los coquitos. Really? Yes. Oh. Thank you. Every day. No, it's only in the night. Okay, every night. Every night. Thank you. I will remember. In front of Los Coquitos. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, they're good. Yes. Uh, are, excellent. Are very delicious. Oh, okay. I frequently go, but to Mexicali, and they're very good. But, but uh, Yes, but. Pupusa de Comal are better. Yes. Thank y you. Menos. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Uh, all right. Thank you. Ah. Uh, Jenny, today I did I did something stupid. Y esto es cierto. Today I did something. Whoa. Okay. It's okay. No tiene audífonos. Okay. A micro oh, okay. Um, today I did something stupid in the park by my house. They cut a tree, a big tree in pieces, and stupid me, I go to the park. He me fue traer un tronco, a trunk, for my house. And I said, "Hey, lo voy a pintar y todo." Oh my God. No want to let them. My back hurts. What should I take? Hi, you sure uh, take um, acetaminophen? Acetaminophen? Oh, okay. Yes, because. Oh. Yes, yes. I should take a acetaminophen. Wait, who's talking to me? Or or it will... Okay, I think I think you have a problem with the microphone, Jenny. Mm. But but I heard I said that mean offense, so thank you. But yes, it's cierto, I don't want to let Paula. Arely. Hello. Hello. You're a teacher. My son does not want to do homework. It's so difficult. What should I do? You should try to mo motivate with some incentives or, or I don't know, positive, positive incentives. Entonces ya, ya no le doy coscorones. No. <laughs> No, I'm joking. Mentiras. No, no, no. It's okay. okay. Yes, I should. I should motivate him. I'm. I'm taking notes. No, no. I'm joking. I report to Minel. No, no. I. <laughs> no, y sabe que es bien chistoso porque a veces con mi hijo jugamos lucha libre y yo le hago lo del Undertaker en la cama antes que se duerma. He is five years old, right? Yes. Oh, well, baby. you know, 
it's fun, you know, like I, I, ah, we, we play. And one time he told the teacher. And the teacher talks to me, mira, quiero hablar con usted. Yes, what happened? She said, que niño cuenta que usted le pega antes de dormirse. What? What? <laughs> no, no, jamás. It's, no, no, wait. <laughs> Okay, I, live, I don't know. The teacher maybe asked. So me, Papa. <laughs> no, we play, we play wrestling, the lucha libre, the rock, and rap. But I, and, but okay, oh, okay, okay. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sorry, teacher. I I I will I will communicate with my son that is playing. We're playing. Pero me quedé, what? I hit him. No, no, I don't hit him. Y después la policía en la puerta. <laughs> sí, es lo que yo. Y yo ya sentí que la profesora me iba a decir, mire, por favor, quédese aquí. Vamos a llamar. A... Oh, no. Lo van a escoltar, Leon. Ajá, <laughs> uh -huh. yes. All right, okay. Maritza. Tell me. You live in Sonsonate, correct? Uh, yes, I live in Sonsonate. Recommend me a good restaurant in Sonsonate. Where should I go? Maybe uh, a Cajutla restaurant. Oh, yeah, the original is in, in Sonsonate, the original a Cajutla, right? Uh, yes. Okay, so you should go to a Cajutla. Uh, repeat, please. Entonces, dígame, you should go to Acajutla. Ok. Uh, you should uh, go to Acajutla. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. Hey, it's the, the rock and roll, ok. No. <laughs> o oh, ya, ya me va a caer la policía. Oh, I'm a rest. No. Rock and roll. Ok, good. Very good. Ok, entonces eso, gracias, muy bien, ya, ya el último, muy bien, muy, muy, muy bien. Recuerden, entonces tenemos que enfocarnos más en escuchar, porque una cosa sí me gusta en general de esta clase, de que todos pronuncian bien. Y se acuerdan de las tres cosas que le dije que hay que nivelar, eso estamos descartando entonces de cómo pronunciar. Entonces hay que eh, enfocarnos más en listening y grammar y la única forma que vamos a hacer gramática es contestando en forma completa all right thank you very much i'll see you tomorrow class thank you thank you, thank you. Bye, bye bye see you bye.